Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. In today's video is going to be about how to understand results of the gel electrophoresis. And this is going to be my second video on the topic. Uh, I highly recommend you to watch my previous video. So, uh, here is a problem. The gel image shows seven alleles. Let's call them one through seven in order of the size, with one being the largest and seven being the smallest. Imagine the unlikely case that these uh, 11 individuals were truly representative of the population. What is the frequency of the allele 5? So, in order to solve this problem, we have to find out which alleles are uh, biggest, which are smallest, and, and in which direction uh, DNA fragments are moving. As you see, here we have a ladder. Uh, this is uh, samples of the uh, DNA fragments of the known sizes. And we have six sizes here. This is uh, 2000 base pairs. This band is 1650 base pairs and so on. So uh, now we can say that uh, our samples were loaded here and uh, DNA is moving from this side to this side. So this allele is uh, largest and these two alleles are smallest. So uh, largest allele traveled a small distance and at the same period of time uh, smallest alleles uh, traveled longer uh, or greater distance. So let's now give names to alleles. So uh, this is going to be allele number one and these alleles are going to be number two and next we have allele number three then we have allele number four and then number five and number six so let's use the same color and number seven so for number seven we will use this color so now we have 11 persons and uh, this 11 persons has um, alleles of the different size and uh, it is very easy to make a mistake if you would um, just uh, find out quantity of the alleles number 5 which is here and which is 3 and would divide uh, this number by total number of alleles uh, by counting them. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17, 18, 19. So if your answer would be that uh, we have uh, uh, three alleles that we have to divide by 19, this is going to be a wrong answer. Because uh, here, as you see, uh, we have only one allele. Person B has only one band, but it doesn't mean that uh, he has uh, only one allele. And person G also, as you see, have one band. And also person D also has one band. But uh, actually, what does it mean? It means that this person has two alleles of the same size. So we perceive it as one band. And this person also has two alleles of the same size. And this person, G, also has two alleles of the same size. We are deployed, so we have all our chromosomes uh, present in two copies. So uh, one we are getting from our mother side, another from our father side. In the same locus, we would have uh, two alleles. If alleles are different size, 
like uh, in person K or J or I or H, then uh, we would see two bands. But if person like person G, D and B has uh, alleles of the same size, we would see only one band here. But once again, one band stands for two alleles of the same size. So total number of alleles here, which uh, 11 people would have, would be 22. And now we have to find a frequency of the allele number 5. And we have one allele here, two alleles here, and one allele here. So total number of uh, alleles number 5 would be uh, 4. So we have to divide 4 by 22. And the answer would be uh, 0 0.18. If you need an answer in percentage form, we have to multiply 0 0.18 by 100 and the answer would be 18%. Uh, and uh, you can choose any form for your answer with 18% uh, or 0 0.18. Both answers are correct. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.